guys, Joe here with Portland Seattle Coffee Gear. Today I'm not brewing with my classic Chemex. Today we're having fun with the vacuum pot or the Fun extractor. Uh, basically, it's brewing with science. I know Gail made a video that got posted a while ago, uh, brewing with one method of this. I'm going to show you something else. Uh, I'm following kind of that standard recipe I use, which is one part coffee to 16.6 .6 parts water. Uh, so we have 600 grams of water in our bottom globe. We have our coffee right here, and here's where the fun comes in. So when Gail made this, she had her coffee up here in the top globe, let the water boil and percolate up, extract, and then pulled it off of the heat to brew. I'm a fan of doing everything I can to control every variable possible, so I do this a little differently. I let my water come to boil first. It'll all percolate up. This way I maintain a little bit more thermal stability, and I know more about the temperature of my water when I add my coffee. So once we're all the way done, we're just going to dump that in there. Use our coffee manipulation tool to make sure we don't have any dense clumps. While we're doing this, we're going to start our timer. Uh, I have about a pour-over grind in here. It's not too fine, not too coarse. So I'm going to give it a minute under steady heat. Stirring it one more time in about 30 seconds, then I will remove it from the heat and let it extract into the bottom. Uh, the vacuum pot is certainly a lot of fun, uh, especially if you have guests over. You just set it up on the dinner table or the breakfast table, depending on when your guests show up. Brew some coffee with the magic of science. Wow them with the taste. So, coffee tool. With this method, it gives us a little bit more control over reproducing results. When that water first percolates up into that coffee with the other way, we don't really know what temperature our water is or our coffee is. It's just enough to get there. This makes it slightly more even. Remove from heat. Don't burn yourself. And now you play the waiting game. So what happens is our air expands, our water goes up, what's left behind cools off when we remove it from the heat, and it sucks everything down with the magic that is science. Yeah, just a lot of fun. The Peebo, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you get a good gurgling noise right at the end, and it's like, oh, our coffee's ready. So yeah, it's all extracted, percolated through. You can see that it's a uh, little bit more grainy in texture, so it's not as clean and as crisp as, say, a paper-filtered coffee would be. There's the fun part. From here, we had that last release of pressure, that last bit of extraction. We're just going to remove that vac pot lid and you set it off to the side and something that won't break because it's really hot and I don't suggest touching that right now. Like always, you stir your pot just to make sure you have a homogeneous mixture. Grab your cup that's really far away. And enjoy it when it is no longer boiling. Have a great day, everybody. Cheers.